la 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 Maybe you know it's up there, north and a little east of downtown, right behind the bean field, next to the bike path that runs all the way from the arch. But I'd wager that most St. Louisans have never seen it, probably never even heard of it. But you can't miss it in either sense of the phrase. This is the Lewis and Clark Confluence Tower, a hidden treasure right out in the open near Hartford, Illinois, close to the confluence of the Mississippi and Missouri rivers, near Camp River Dubois, where Lewis and Clark spent the winter of 1803 and 04, and from which they entered the mouth of the Missouri and headed west. Of the 4,000 miles they traveled, this is mile zero, where the gateway to the American West first swung wide open. It's not a Lewis and Clark museum. That's a state-run place up the road. This is a place to get a bird's eye view of what Lewis and Clark saw from down low. You start at the lower level, close to where the rivers run. The Kaskaskia River comes in south of here, just uh, north of Churchill, down the southern part of, of Illinois, probably an uh, hour and a half south of here. The Lewis and Clark Exposition has three phases, the preparation phase, the going up to find the passage, and the coming back. So that's the reason they have three the tower just opened in summer 2010. We're going to be up 50 feet. We can't really see the rivers good from here, the trees, but we can see a lot of other things. Three levels, 180 feet, with an observation deck at 50, 100, and 150. The first level is all about the history of Wood River and Hartford and laying the groundwork for the voyage west. Lewis went on to St. Louis to, to deal with the Spanish. Clark went on upriver to, uh, with the men in the keelboat to come to this spot right here. And he wrote in his journal, he says, I came upon a small river called Dubois. Dubois means a wood river in Indian, okay? And he says, across from the Dubois River is directly across from it's the Missouri River. So this will be our point of departure, our encampment right here. And even at 50 feet, the view is pretty good. Right, see the water tower out there on the horizon? It says SIU Edgerfield. That's on the campus of Southern Illinois University. It's about 16 miles from here. Okay, we're 100 feet up now. Now let's see what we can see now. It is all the Mississippi River. You can't see the Missouri yet, okay? At the second level, the river valley gets broader, and the story of the time Lewis and Clark spent near this spot goes on. Clark wrote many times that they visited a town called Milton. Now, Milton is an area which is just right there, used to be years ago, called the Milton area. And finally, at the top, there's the point of entry for Lewis and Clark, where they crossed the Mississippi and started the trek westward. There's the confluence of the two rivers, okay? The Missouri River ends right there. This is the third largest river system in the world. First being the uh, Amazon, then the Nile, then the Miss Mississippi River system. Even though it was hazy the day I took That's my little no zoom lens right. flip camera to the tower, the view the gets better up top. You can see the St. Louis skyline from this level. There it is through the haze, late summer haze. That's a St. Louis thing if there ever was one. But here's the deal. There are taller buildings where the horizon is farther away, but no building anywhere that will let you see where Lewis and Clark started their journey. Now, President Jefferson had originally asked whether you know it exists or even if you've never heard of it, it doesn't matter. The Confluence Tower isn't a thrill ride. It's not the Empire State Building. It's a place to see with your own eyes where the gateway to the West really starts, a place where something spectacular and important began. And once you know about it, it's a magnet, a 180-foot-tall concrete magnet. Have you been here before? No. Nope. Why did you come today? I saw it on the Internet. You're going to go to the top? Oh, you betcha. Okay. Thanks. Absolutely. The Lewis and Clark Confluence Tower. It's a just north of St. Louis thing. For HEC-TV, I'm Aaron Mermelstein.
la 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 la.